Hi guys and girls. We're going to hear another story about Moses. Remember yesterday he said, God, I don't feel like I'm good enough to do this work for you. So he let him take his brother Aaron with him. So today's story is about how God uses Moses and Aaron to do good work for him. We're talking about the plagues and the first five plagues in the book of Exodus chapter five through nine. Moses and his brother Aaron went to Pharaoh. They said, the Lord says, let my people go to hold a feast in my honor in the desert. Pharaoh said, who is the Lord? Why should I obey him? I won't let Israel go. The Lord said, I will strike the water in the Nile. The river will turn to blood. The fish in the Nile died. The river smelled so bad the Egyptians couldn't drink the water. But even that miracle didn't change Pharaoh's mind. Then the Lord said, let my people go. But Pharaoh's heart became stubborn. So the Lord said, the Nile will be full of frogs. They will come into your palace and on your bed. Pharaoh went to Moses. He said, pray to the Lord to take the frogs away. I'll let your people go. Moses replied, it will happen just as you say. The frogs died, but Pharaoh's heart was stubborn. He wouldn't let the people go. Then the Lord spoke to Moses. He said, tell Aaron, reach your wooden staff out, strike the ground. All over the land of Egypt, the dust will turn into gnats. So they did it. The dust turned into gnats. They landed on people and animals. But Pharaoh's heart was stubborn. He wouldn't listen. So the Lord sent large number of flies. Flies poured into Pharaoh's palace. The flies destroyed the land. Pharaoh sent for Moses and Aaron. Moses said, tomorrow the flies will leave you. Let the people go. But Pharaoh's heart became stubborn that time also. He wouldn't let the people go. Then the Lord spoke, let my people go. If you refuse, I will strike your horses, donkeys, camels, cattle, sheep, and goats. But Pharaoh wouldn't let the people go. So the next day, all the livestock of e the Egyptians died. Four more plagues. The Lord said to Moses, Toss ashes into the air. The ashes will turn into fine dust. Then boils will break out on people and animals. But Pharaoh wouldn't listen. Then the Lord sent thunder and hail. Hail beat down everything that was growing. It tore the leaves off the trees. Pharaoh sent for Moses. I've sinned, he said. Pray to the Lord. We've had enough hail. Moses prayed. The thunder and hail stopped. But Pharaoh sinned. He wouldn't let the people go. Then the Lord made a wind blow. The wind brought locusts. The locusts covered the land and ate up everything that was left after the hail. Pharaoh sent for Moses. He said, pray to the Lord, take this plague away. Moses prayed. The Lord changed the wind. The wind blew the locusts into the Red Sea, but Pharaoh wouldn't let the people go. Moses reached out his hand toward the sky. Darkness covered Egypt for three days. No one could see anyone else. Pharaoh sent for Moses. He said, go, worship the Lord. Just leave your flocks and herds behind. Moses said, our animals must go with us. But Pharaoh wouldn't let the people go. The Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh. After that, he will let you go. All right, tomorrow we will read about what that last plague was and how um, the people got to go free. Let's pray. God, I thank you that you call us to serve you, to love you, and to love other people. And I thank you that you let us bring a brother or a sister or a friend along so that we don't always have to do that alone. 
we know that um, friends make work more fun. So thank you for using us and creating us to serve you. We ask you to um, continue to be with us and help us to be all that you created us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. I love you, but God loves you so much more.